Hemingway invites us up to his room to have a drink. And my friend Jack Tiger ambles over to a closet. He opens the door. You won't believe it. Shelves full of canned sardines, chocolate bars with almonds, piles of best American cigarettes. It was like running into a gold mine. And Jack just opens up his pantalones and starts loading. I mean, fills it up to the hilt. And Hemingway is looking at him in absolute amazement. And finally he says, what the fuck do you think you're doing? He says, I, you can see what I'm doing, I'm loading up. You must be doing something right if they put your ass in jail or beat on you and you haven't committed any crime. I went to call the Spanish consulate and tell them that on Thursday at noon that they're all going to be blown to smithereens. I was fortunate to be told, thrilly, that I was probably going to be picked up in a few days and I chose to take off and become underground. Every six months, I changed my identity. I saw no close member of my family or friends. I was another person. They were the men who fought and did the right thing before the rest of the world. It meant that you not only stood up against evil, you stood up first. Hitler was the epitome of all the things I've been fighting against all my life. And to become involved in Spain was just another step in the direction which my life had been going. There was something about Mississippi that was scary as shit. The first day I arrived in Mississippi, that night, the car in which I arrived was bombed, blown up, destroyed. I think a lot of white people paid a great price just because they were white. The first real communist aggression on the American mainland. I wanted to be in a position to tell Nicaraguans there is another America. So in 85, I went down to Nicaragua with my two boys, and we built 30 houses in about 60 days. He swept me off my feet. I'm the working class answer to Elizabeth Taylor. He got a lot of attention from women that admired him. Ruined pretty much every romantic relationship he ever had. He's kind of a compulsive philanderer. Here I was, past 75 years old, and this gorgeous creature is yummy me. Seemed to adore women and be completely, completely oblivious to his age. I was impressed at um, this tiger of a man, busy like a bee, going here, lecturing there. Most young people have inside them a bit of a torch of idealism. That's my job, lighting their torches. I'm 86 years old, I have aches and pains and from heart and all that, but I still have more piss and vinegar than most of you. He's one of those speakers that you leave and you feel so excited. His ideas on being politically active. There are really people who went through their entire life still believing that you have to do what's right with yourself. There is a better way to live than the options which are given by the culture in which they live. We have something which the more you give of it, the more you have. And that's human love and compassion. Dave's vision. His passion. I think his passion more than anything else. Trying to organize people how to play the media, how to, what kind of pressure to bring. He was a bit larger than life. He dazzled me to resist forces of evil. You did whatever you could to fight the cancer in our society. Don't give up the